Hello, hello, my name is Blossoms and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. And today we have a brand new updated Hutao build guide video for you guys. Hutao is coming up on the next banner for Toma and uh, a lot of people are going to be getting her for the first time. So I thought what better time than now to make an updated Hutao build guide. Hutao is one of the strongest DPSs in the game and is a fan favorite for good reason. She has very fluid and fun gameplay and has a very fun personality to just uh, you know witness in the game so a lot of people are, I'm sure are going to be going for it and I'm very excited to bring you guys my build and just kind of give you guys some guidance as to how you might want to build your Hu Tao based on the things you have so without further ado let's go ahead and pop into the build before we show you how to build Hu Tao, we need to go over her kit a little bit just to understand exactly how she works, and I'll try to make it as brief as possible. The E skill here takes about 30% of your health and upgrades your attack based off of your HP. Uh, not to mention it also turns all of your damage to pyro damage, and your charge attacks now apply a Blood Blossom, these Blood Blossoms dealing some pretty decent damage here at uh, level 8. Has a decent duration of 9 seconds and a cooldown of 16 seconds, so you will have some downtime, but that won't be so much of a problem as we'll go over later. You will note that, uh, yeah, she's definitely scaling off HP pretty hard here and wanting to do some charge attacks. Those are the things that you are going to want to take note there and that she wants to seem to be costing some of her HP. That's also very important to her kit. Her E skill here is incredibly strong and whenever you are trying to deal damage with Hu Tao, you should try to have her E skill up uh, as it will provide you the most damage. And just to kind of showcase that, I'll briefly show you my stat of 900 attack here. Hit my E skill, and now we have 2600 attack, so you can tell that's quite a big difference and is certainly going to be helping out your damage numbers. As for Hu Tao's elemental burst, it's relatively simple as it does pyro damage in a large AoE. Now there is one interesting thing to this, is the fact that it deals more damage if you're below 50% HP, and it also regenerates some health, and it regenerates more health if you're at uh, below that 50% HP as well. And this also also has a pretty darn big skill damage modifier, so it is capable of some big hits, especially on that low HP. It has a decent energy cost of 60, very easily achievable, and a normal cooldown of 15 seconds that is, that is also not too bad. Hutao has some pretty darn good passives as well. This one being one of the most interesting is the fact that whenever her E skill ends, whether you uh, its duration ends or you swap her off of the field, it grants the rest of your party 12% crit rate for eight seconds, which is really nice because of the fact that when the E skill is down for the about seven seconds that you have to wait there, you're often going to be swapping to your characters to be prepping to do another DPS phase with Hutao anyway. And for those eight seconds, all of those characters have a little bit extra crit rate, which is just gonna make them that little bit more consistent, which is very nice. She also has this passive that uh, whenever she's below 50% HP, her pyro damage bonus in increased by 33%. So you can tell she's a character that wants to be at lower HP to be dealing a ton of damage between her elemental burst and just getting a huge pyro damage bonus. And you can imagine all those factors stacking together makes her an absolute beast. And it is no surprise as to why she is just such a strong DPS character. As for the strengths of Hu Tao, she is very good at vaporizing and causing melt reactions, dealing really big damage on those, and there are plenty of characters that support that playstyle very well uh, that we have in the game currently, and not to mention her gameplay in general just feels very fluid. She also has this interesting dash that they don't seem to mention anywhere here in the talents that uh, turns her into butterflies here, and... To me, it feels like it has a longer iframe duration than most dashes. I can't be entirely certain on that. I haven't counted frame data or anything, but it does feel a little bit more generous and it allows you to get through some things other dashes won't. A prime example of this is the uh, the Hydro Maidens for the Fatui when they put that uh, little entrapment around your character. She can actually just sprint through that, which is pretty cool and interesting and is just a very nice and unique aspect to her gameplay. She has a lot of small niche things like that like also her charge attack here whenever you do her charge attack it does a little normal attack first which is why she pairs so amazingly with a character like Xing Shou who wants you to do a normal attack for his elemental burst of proc and it's really neat that she has all these little like small details that actually go so far on her kit and I'm sure if you do decide to get your Hu Tao and build her you'll notice them just like I have and probably enjoy her just a little bit more. 
As for who tells artifacts, you actually have quite a few choices, but I will say I think the four piece Crimson Witch of Flames is the best, at least in my general opinion. This is one of the highest damaging uh, artifact sets as it not only increases your pyro damage bonus, it also increases your reaction damage, which Hu Tao excels at. And then you also get a little bit of additional uh, pyro damage based off of uh, when you cast our elemental skill. You can't make it stack like uh, other characters like Bennett or something who can take advantage of those stacks, which is unfortunate, but you do still get a little bit of it and uh, you do have other options though a lot of people have been asking about the four piece shimano was reminiscence on hu tao and this is definitely an option as it increases her normal charge and plunging attack damage by 50 percent which is massive and very strong however i will say i do not personally recommend this as playing around this set is a nightmare for hu tao in my general opinion i missed around with this i because i have a pretty good shimano was reminiscence set and my biggest problem with the shimano was reminiscence set is yes it allows you to deal some really strong damage with your charge attacks and your normal attacks however it really gets in the way of your elemental burst because most of the time when you cast your elemental burst you're going to want to set up an enemy with cryo or hydro or something just to get that really big uh, reaction damage and whenever you do that you're going to want to cast the burst uh, almost immediately after uh, casting your E while they still have the cryo applied on them. Of course, there are ways around that, but generally you're going to see cryo applied on enemy, then you're going to cast your E and then cast your Q. But generally, when you see the cryo on the character, you're going to cast your elemental skill and then cast your elemental burst in order to deal the most damage as you can for that one reaction. But you can't really do that with the Shimano Reminiscence set because it takes 15 of your energy to give you that buff. So th that's why I really don't like this so much on Hutao you have to play around it a lot more than you would on something like the four piece of Crimson Witch of Flames, which is just a very easy set to use on her. In fact, if you're really fixated on the Shiminawa's big bonus there, I would honestly just recommend the Retracing Bolide. Oftentimes, you're going to be pairing Hu Tao with a shield character because she loves to be a low HP so much that you're going to want to protect her from some damage. And if you're already doing that, then why not one, make the shield stronger and two, get a slightly, uh, you know, worse normal charge attack buff, but still a really good one. I don't understand why you would use this over the Retracing Bolide, in my opinion. This is just much better because most of the time you're going to be pairing her with a shielded character anyway so i think crimson witch of flames is just where i'm really settled on hu tao as i think this is going to be the best of course you can even do things like the four piece uh, gladiator's destiny which is like a 35 percent increase which is less than both uh but is just very simple to play you don't have to worry about your energy being gone that is also a choice but those four sets aren't the only things you uh have to play around you can actually do some really solid two pieces hu tao works really well with the two pieces of wonders troop the crimson witch of flames and the tenacity of the mill since she's such an HP scaling character, 20% on tenacity is really nice. And if you're really lacking on EM, Wonders Troop can be really good for you as the uh, 80 Elemental Mastery is basically a pretty close version to the four piece Crimson Witch here that gives you that increase in your elemental reaction damage. Uh, you just don't get the pyro damage there. So if your subsets are better on like a two piece Wonders Troop and a two piece Crimson Witch, I'd probably just go with that, in fact, uh, as that is a really good option as well. So yeah, mix and match some of those sets as you do have some options, but I'm sure some of you could have surmised from how I've been talking about her so far, but let's talk about these main sets. You're going to want to be doing HP percent generally. We'll get back to this in just a second. Uh, pyro damage bonus and crit rate or crit damage, whatever is going to be getting you those best ratios. Now, coming back to that sands, I did say you're generally going to want to be doing HP percent, and that is because... Hu Tao is a big HP scaling character. Now, what is the exception of that is the fact that, well, your HP is kind of big in the first place. And if you have some good HP percent subsets, then maybe you're like, I could maybe use something else here. Well, don't use an attack percent. Use an elemental mastery sands as that is going to go much further for you as uh, Hu Tao does do that big reaction damage and uh, can really take advantage of it. And this is just going to be better for you because the attack percent is going to help you out as much if you're still getting a huge bump from your elemental skill there as uh, the elemental mastery is just going to help you out a lot more than something like an attack percent sands at that point but generally uh, if you have some decent elemental mastery substats then just go hp percent it is going to be a bit better and uh, you'll you'll be better off that way 
However, both are pretty close overall, so if you just have a really good Elemental Mastery Sands and you can manage some good HP substats, then maybe that's just going to be the choice for you. Both are pretty darn good, but if you can get some good EM substats uh, and, you know, only get to like about 100 or so, then you'll probably be fine with an HP percent Sands there, and that'll be better off for you. Now, talking about substats, we did talk a little bit about them there. The most important ones for you are, of course, going to be things like crit rating, crit damage, getting those numbers as high as possible is very important, but things Things like HP percent and elemental mastery are going to be huge on Hu Tao because she scales really heavy off HP as we have been talking and then two also does really big reaction damage and is constantly going to be doing them so elemental mastery is going to be a lot more valuable than uh, most other stats on her attack percent is okay but it isn't going to help her out a ton and energy recharge is good as well but you're not necessarily going to need that so much either as long as you got some solid supports providing her some decent energy now briefly before moving on the weapons i'll show off my artifacts so you know what i'm working with for this video You'll be happy and probably relieved to know that weapons on Hu Tao are actually pretty accommodating because the stats on them don't really matter so much to her. The sub stat is and the passive are going to be what you care about most of all. The base attack value here isn't really that important for Hu Tao as she does get most of her attack from that HP scaling. The base attack does contribute, don't get me wrong, but it's not nearly as huge as other characters and other DPSs uh, take advantage of it. Uh, so that's going to be very important. So you'll be relieved to hear that. Of course, the best weapon for Hu Tao is going to be the Staff of Homa. It was basically made for her and it's just a ridiculous spear in general. And that's why it's on the weapon banner, of course, as well. Uh, but I will say some of the best four star options are going to be things like Deathmatch, things like Dragon Spine, especially at high refinements, and then things like the Black Cliff Pull to, you know, round out that crit rate or crit damage, whatever is going to be better for you. But I do think the Deathmatch is better just because you get some free stats from it as well. But you don't even have to stop there. Things like the White Tessel and Black Tessel are actually pretty solid on Hu Tao. Uh, Black Tessel just because it gives you some HP percent and I guess you can destroy slimes if you want. Uh, but the White Tessel just gives you some crit rate and increases your normal attack damage by 48%, which is nothing to scout off at which is also pretty good for uh these four star options are still going to be better than them unless you're fighting some slimes of course i'm just gonna let you know this is going to out dps most things against slimes but the four star options are just going to be better a lot of you might be wondering well i don't have these three what about some other options you do have as i said pretty much plenty of options it's mostly going to be however it's going to round out your stats the best if you want to keep the consistency on your hu tao up and you want that elemental burst more often than you currently have it something like the vavonius lance actually might be a really good pick for you it's got some some decently high base attack some good energy recharge sets and you're providing particles for her and the rest of the team because they're like neutral particles which is pretty nice but things like prototype star glitter also aren't too bad you get a little bit of energy recharge you get some increased normal and charge attack damage not the worst thing in the world but generally these three are going to be good and even these two are going to be very very good on her as well and if you have staff Ahoma or primordial jade spear or something those are going to be really good options as well vortex Van vanquisher is also a pretty solid option but i do believe a high refinement death match is better than it so just kind of work with what you got as she's going to be good with most of them. Keating Cross Spear especially because she doesn't really deal consistent elemental ma uh, skill damage to where this is going to be proccing all the time and it, the elemental mastery is pretty nice I guess and it has relatively high base attack but it's just not worth it. Uh, something like the Dragon's Bane especially in a Vaporize comp is going to be significantly better if you're looking for that elemental mastery bump and as I said the base attack really doesn't matter that much so it, having lower base attack is not a big deal. That bigger EM buff is going to be much more valuable to you especially in a Vaporize comp where you're you're also getting this 36% damage modifier, which is just insane. All right, we'll briefly go over constellations and I will say her C1 is very good. It gives her a lot of bang for your buck, uh, probably more so than most five stars as you cast her E skill and then your charge attacks don't consume stamina, which helps out a ton because there's a lot of dash canceling and like, you know, hop canceling that you can do with Hu Tao to conserve stamina and deal more damage. I really don't bother with it that much because uh, it's just kind of annoying uh, to me and it seems kind of janky. 
Uh, so a constellation like this is really valuable for her and helps you save a lot of stamina, especially if you don't like playing that way like me. Uh, it's definitely not necessary, though. None of these are necessary to make her a good character. C0 Hu Tao is a very strong unit. Uh, don't get me wrong there. Of course, you also have her C2 here, and it increases the uh, Blood Blossom damage by an amount equal to 10% of Hu Tao's max HP at the uh, time the effect is applied. Additionally, Spirit Soother will also apply the Blood Blossom effect, which is just a nice quality of life overall. You get a little bit of extra damage and a little bit more consistent application for your Blood Blossoms. Uh, definitely not bad. Constellation 3, increasing that level a little bit. C4, also not too bad. Uh, whenever you defeat an enemy affected by a Blood Blossom that Hu Tao applied herself, all nearby allies in the party will have an increase in crit rate for 15 seconds, uh, which will stack with your other passive and then you just have very consistent supports, which is nice. But as I said, this is not making her busted. C5 increasing the levels and C6 is very strong, but if you're going for C6, then of course it's going to be a really good five star. There's no real need to go for it though, as she's an amazing unit uh, at C0 and at C1. And if you ever get C1, honestly, you're just good to stop there as this is basically the pinnacle of Hu Tao is at C1. All right, and we'll, we'll, all right, and we will briefly go over my Hu Tao stats. Uh, we have that 30k HP, and uh, as I showed you earlier, I got the attack increase whenever I cast my E skill there, so we're at 2600 with the attack increase. My Elemental Mastery is at 100, which is perfect for me. It means I don't really need to shoot for any more Elemental Mastery. Of course, more is going to be better, but 100 is a really good point uh, to be at. And then we get into her crit rate and crit damage ratio. My ratio is not that amazing. Like, they're high. You know, I got like 50% and 209 here. I, of course, want some more crit rate, though, to make her much more consistent. But my subsets haven't been really working out too, too well for that. Uh, but I am dealing plenty of damage when I actually do crit, which is nice. Uh, and if you pair her with some, like, consistency buffing characters like Rosaria for, like, a melt or something, that's going to help you out a bunch as well. Or if you get, like, two cryo characters and you're increasing your crit rate as well. There's, there are ways around that is what I'm saying to make my Hu Tao much more consistent, so it hasn't been too much of a problem for me. 114 energy recharge, not bad. Any higher, of course, is going to be nice, but not really necessary. As I said, if you're pairing her with some solid characters, you'll be fine. 102.1% pyro damage bonus. This is because my Hu Tao currently on the field is below that 50% uh, HP mark, so she's getting that 33 extra percent, which is nice. And uh, yeah, so you can see that pyro damage bonus can get absolutely insane and your attack can be insane for uh, not that much investment. Like I do have some good subsets, but uh, they're not like peak pinnacle, like five star subsets. And yet her, all of her stats here are so stacked. All right, before we get into a brief showcase here, we do need to talk about teams. And I will say her and Xing Xiao are basically married. Xing Xiao pairs so perfectly with her. As we mentioned before, she does a little normal attack before her charge attack actually goes through. And this allows Xing Xiao's swords to proc and it basically makes her vaporize all the time. Not to mention he provides some damage resistance with his swords and a little bit of healing, but not too much healing to where you're over healing to lose your bonuses on Hu Tao. Basically, they're such a good pairing together. If you have a Xing Xiao and a Hu Tao, put them together. They just work. They just work super well. Uh, and along with that, you can pair like a dual Geo team for the extra damage on the Geo Resonance, which is really nice, as well as the shield protection that I talked about earlier is very important for her uh, because you're going to be keeping her at low HP. And if you're fighting some strong opponents, they can one shot you pretty easily if you're going to be at that low HP. Now, you don't need the, the big stacked five star, uh, you know, Geo boys. In fact, Noelle is one of the better shield characters to pair with her for the reason that Noel has this really awesome passive called Devotion, and then when a character falls below 30%, uh, you just get a free shield, which is really nice and going to be happening a ton on Hu Tao, and uh, this shield has very good absorption if you have a decently built Noel, so that is also an option to consider. Of course, characters like Diona are also going to be very good and is on the same banner as Hu Tao right now. Diona is a very strong character who can, one, uh, provide a consistent shield, Two has very manageable healing for Hu Tao, so you can kind of dictate when you want to skip out on Hu Tao to uh, avoid losing your bonuses. And three also applies some cryo. And if you have a C6, some elemental mastery for your Hu Tao, which we talked about being very valuable on her. Of course, other cryo characters are going to be good for her as well. Characters like Kaya are actually very nice for that uh, cryo application. Characters like Rosaria aren't bad either. Basically, anything is going to set up those reactions are going to be good. Uh, it's just some are going to be better than others for various reasons. You can even 
go with like a uh, kind of like a pseudo fireworks comp where you get like Fischl and Beto to uh, help with some of your AOE problems that Hutel has. Hutel doesn't do a ton of AOE. She is pretty decent at it, but not the best. And if you want to mitigate that, uh, uh, Fischl and Beto are going to help out a ton and can get that electro charge going on with Shinsho, as well as, you know, some uh, vaporize slash overloads at the same time when you apply uh, electro and hydro in the in the right ways uh, for Hutel, and that can be some really good damage for you as well. Hutel also pairs with other characters that have some decent downtime on when they're dealing damage. Characters like Tartali and Hutel are very fun to pair together, in my opinion, just because uh, Tartali is generally going to have a decent amount of downtime. So I like to generally swap to Hutel, you know, go off on her and then swap back to Tartalia. He has increased crit rate and, you know, you can just kind of pop off like that. And their elemental burst are uh, both big hits, so they're very fun to just swap between and uh, get the big vaporize from either of them. And I find that very fun. And you, you you get them with the right supports then you'll be doing a-okay of course other pyro characters like bennett are going to be wonderful as well the brand new toma coming out i've heard is very good on her as well i haven't been able to test it on myself but i will if i do get toma we'll see how lucky i get on my wishes uh, but yeah, um, other pyro characters aren't bad to pair with her just because you get the extra 25% damage there. Uh, characters like Shangling and Bennett are going to be really good there. The other ones that I have, at least on this list, not so much. So probably Shangling, Bennett, and Toma are going to be the best picks for a like a dual pyro comp or something. Uh, unless you're just going full pyro and you want like a mono pyro team, then of course your build is going to be a bit different with like a bunch of lava walkers peeps and a bunch of pyro peeps. But uh, I'll leave that one up to you guys. Of course, Hutao also pairs really well with animal characters like Kazuha and Sucrose, getting that EM buff. As we mentioned before, EM is very important to get those big reactions and just buffing your damage in general via the Kazuha elemental damage buff, as well as well as debuffing characters uh, with the Viridescent Venner set is very, very solid. All right, and to briefly show off Hu Tao in action here, we are going to uh, fight the uh, Primo Geo Vishap here just to uh, give you guys an example here. We'll go ahead and get everything going. And you'll see uh, she'll have no problem dealing really big damage with her charge attacks. And uh, you see we just did a, about a 40k there, I believe. And uh, yeah, so 40k there, pretty easily achievable. Go ahead and get a uh, big burst there. Uh, looks like we messed it up. I might have been out of uh, the buff there. Go ahead and get the boys going. And uh, this is kind of what I'm talking about where your, your supports are just going to be more consistent uh, because of course she's giving you that crit rate buff while they're there and uh, you can just come back to her. And uh, yeah. And you saw there, I was missing some of my charge attacks because I wasn't being smart about my stamina. You can charge attack dash cancel and that'll help you out a bunch. You can also charge attack like hop cancel and that'll help you out a bunch uh, for stamina consumption. Generally a good way to avoid some stamina consumption loss is going to be like a one, two and then charge attack situation. Uh, that's going to help you out a bunch and just kind of increase your d general damage overall. But yeah, that's that's just a very brief, uh, you know, showcase of Hu Tao's powers and how strong she actually can be. Well, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how you're building your Hu Tao if this helped you out a bit. If you're even pulling for Hu Tao or you already have her or if you're going for Toma and maybe possibly AC1 Hu Tao. Let me know in the comment section below as I love to see those. But other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Blossoms and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.